Alex Pierre got folded by Israel Adesanya about two months ago at UFC 287. And this wasn't your average knockout, this was a really bad knockout. And at first glance, I'm like, oh, okay, they're not gonna let Alex compete for like six to nine months, you know? Let that chin recover. But no, Alex actually has that dog in him as he's going to make an early turnaround, making his light heavyweight debut against Jan Blachowicz at UFC 291, which is insane in my opinion because this is a three month turnaround since Alex has been knocked out. And instead of Alex fighting a Johnny Walker or an Anthony Smith, he's fighting the most dangerous striker in that weight class. In fact, he's the most underrated striker in that weight class, being Jan Blachowicz. This man outclassed Izzy, TKO'd Reyes, outchecked and kicked Alexander Rakic. But I'm not saying Alex can't compete with him in the standup, as Alex could outkick Jan since his kicks aren't telegraphed, and that left hand from Alex is a noot. So it wouldn't surprise me if Alex is able to get it done, especially since Jan is most likely gonna test his stand up instead of trying to grapple, making it a kickboxing match. But look, if we're being real, I think Alex can knock out Jan, like how Thiago Santos did. Like, look, Alex looks like he has a solid shot to be honest, but I do believe the odds are against him in this one. The thing I'm concerned about is the chin of Alex. Look, I truly believe he came back too soon. I think from one of the worst knockouts I've ever seen. Some people aren't the same. Look at Usman when he got knocked out from that head kick. Look at Masvidal when he got knocked out. Look at Tai Tuivasa when he got knocked out. We've also seen that he doesn't have a chin. If Jan hits him clean once, he might be done. Especially since this guy has been cracked so many times over the years in kickboxing. And he's coming up there in age. And apparently this is what a lot of kickboxers do. They love short turnarounds. And that's why over the years a lot of them lose their durability. And look, I was always down for Alex to make a comeback fight after 6-9 to nine months. But this is too soon. I would love to see Alex recover. You know, training non-stop and getting better in all areas of the game, but instead, Alex is coming back. And that's for right now, I think Jan has this in the bag. But I am rooting for Alex regardless. That's why Alex Pereira is making a huge mistake. And if you enjoyed the video, please press the like button. It helps the channel out. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. And I'll see you guys on my next one.